In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the use of procedures and of passing variables by value and by reference. As you can see, I've created a simple program which declares an initial variable of my number equals 100. I also have declared a procedure. And if I right click on the procedure, I can select edit and you can see that I've given the procedure the name multiply. And it has the argument, which is a special type of variable, which is called number here, and it's passing by value. When it passes by, by value, it makes a copy of the number stored in my number, which is 100, and it passes a copy to the variable number in the new procedure. And since we're passing a copy, nothing's going to happen to this actual number. So when I get to my last statement, which outputs my number, it will display 100. I'm going to right click on the procedure and select go to procedure declaration. You'll see here that number comes in as my parameter. That actually declares it as a variable and number is equaling number times five. So I'm changing the value of the number variable and I'm going to display it. Let's try it. So we have, I am the number inside of multiply procedure and it's equal to 500. This is the number after the multiply procedure. It's 100 because it was passed by value or copy, it didn't change. I can also navigate to my procedures here. I'm going to choose to add a new procedure, and this is going to be called addition. And I'm also going to give it the arguments of number, which could be a little confusing, so I'm going to call it number two. It's not confusing to the computer, it would just be confusing to us. And here I'm going to choose it to pass it by reference, which means we're actually going to pass the location of our variable. So if we make a change in the procedure, our original variable will change. So let's try that. So I'm gonna call it number two. I'm gonna hit okay. Now, according to the program, it wouldn't matter if I use number again because it's in a different place for scope. So I'm simply going to use an assignment here to make number two equal number two plus 1,000, so it should be 1,100. And I'm going to add an output, number two after addition equals, and number two, and that needs either a plus or an ampersand, either one will work. And let's hit enter here and change it to console and hit OK. All right, let's go back to our main procedure. You do that by going to procedures and main. And we're going to add the procedure right here. And we'll leave the output right here. So the first output we're going to see is going to be when we're passing by value and multiplying. And we're going to do addition. We need to look at this one number two by reference, we have to send it the number, my number. So we're using the same variable again. Okay, so we're passing my number to both. This one's passing by value, so it's getting a copy. This is passing by reference, so it's getting the actual location. And you saw what happened before where the number didn't change. It will now because we get sent it the reference. Let's give it a try. So the number inside becomes 500, after addition becomes 1100, and because it's the number after the multiply procedure, it's actually been moved down, so it's after both. You can see when we passed by reference that it actually changed the value. So that's how you create simple procedures and pass by value or by reference.